So, you know how the Mini 4 Pro already felt like DJI had crammed a full-size drone into something that barely weighs more than a smartphone? Well, get ready, because if the leaks are even half right, the Mini 5 Pro is about to take that to a whole new level. We're looking at a possible launch around September 2025, though don't be surprised if things slide into early 2026, component shortages are still a thing. Now let's talk about what this drone might actually bring to the table, especially if you're into tracking sports or just want insane performance in a drone that stays under 250 grams. First up, the camera. Apparently DJI's ditching the 1 over 1.3 inch sensor from the Mini 4 Pro and going full 1 inch. That's a big deal for low light shots, crisp action footage, and detail when you're following something like a mountain biker, flying down a trail, or a soccer match at dusk. Um, leaks say it'll do 4K at 60fps and HDR with D-Log M and HLG for anyone who's serious about color grading. And yes, vertical shooting is still in the mix, but this time with even more flexibility. Plus, there's chatter about built-in audio recording, which could be clutch for live commentary or just capturing that ambient event noise. On the performance side, massive gains. Flight time could hit 50 minutes, that's 16 more than the Mini 4 Pro. And a real shakeup for stuff like marathons, cycling races, or anything where swapping batteries mid-action is a nightmare. And range? 25 kilometers, that's over 15 miles. Plenty of room to play, whether you're tracking a triathlon or just covering a massive sports complex. They're also upgrading the motors, stronger and better cooled for smoother performance, especially when things get windy or chaotic on the field. Safety is getting a serious upgrade too. LiDAR obstacle avoidance might be making its way into a sub 250 grams drone for the first time ever. Um, that means better precision in complex places like forests or stadiums. Pair that with AI powered tracking and you've got a drone that can lock onto athletes or teams and follow them like a camera crew, no manual piloting stress, and the sensor setup, dual front-facing wide-angle sensors, plus some inward-facing ones. Basically, it's learning how to avoid things before they become a problem. Even with all these upgrades, the Mini 5 Pro is expected to stay under the 250 grams mark. That means fewer registration headaches in most countries, and you can toss it in your bag without it becoming a hassle. Some leaked images even show propeller guards, which might be part of a new safety push, handy for crowded sports events where things get tight. Now the extra sauce. Some sources say we could be looking at 5.4K video at 60fps, though that one's not fully confirmed yet. Either way, sharpness and detail look to be a priority. It'll likely work with the existing DJI RC2. Pricing? Leaks suggest anywhere between $899 for the base model and up to $1,500 if you go all in with the Fly More combo or whatever premium package DJI cooks up. That's definitely pricier than the Mini 4 Pro's $759 starting point, but with everything it's supposedly packing, it makes sense. Bottom line, if you're into sports tracking or just want a ridiculously capable mini drone, the Mini 5 Pro might be the one to watch. That's a wrap for this one. If you made it this far, you might enjoy checking out some of our other videos too. Catch you in the next one. Peace!